Hello everyone. Thank you for joining. Today we are going to talk about the OCI traffic management policies. My name is Jamal Arif and I am part of the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure team. Our safe harbor statement. So our main objectives for uh, this video series is to talk about uh, what our traffic management steering policy looks like in OCI and what are the top use cases that we are solving with the different policies that we have. And I'll also go do some demos, quick demos to show you how you can set up a traffic policy based upon a different use case that you have. All right, so moving forward, uh, let's talk about uh, traffic management on OCI uh, DNS Edge Services. So the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Edge Services has advanced uh, traffic management capabilities uh, to steer your DNS traffic across multiple public um, OCI endpoints or other third-party uh, endpoints as well. Uh, your tra the traffic management uh, supports uh, comprehensive policies and to provide intelligent responses to ensure high performance, uh, scalability, and availability. You can also uh, link the health checks along with the traffic management uh, for different use cases and as we go through the different options of traffic management we'll see that how we can attach an OCI health check uh, with the traffic management policies as well. So let's take a look at uh, some of the common use cases which we commonly see with within the traffic management. Uh, the first one is is a failover uh, where your where you have a either a DR site or you have some DR site in a different region uh, and you are uh, forwarding or directing all of your client traffic to a particular region which is your primary site. If for some reason the primary site fails, you can set up uh, a failover scenario or a failover traffic management policy within your DNS uh, to forward the traffic to your uh, DR site which is your secondary site in case of a failure. The failover, when you set up the failover, uh, you can associate different health checks and based upon the TTL values that you have, it would fail over to your uh, secondary site. Additionally, uh, cloud migration is another common use case where you use uh, the load balancing functionality within the traffic management policies uh, in which you have the ability to uh, load balance your traffic based upon the weight that you provide to your, uh, uh, to your uh, individual endpoints. Uh, so for instance, if you're migrating your application to cloud and you still want to have 90% of your data uh, being sent to your uh, on-premise primary site and just just to test out the things, you just want to send out 10% 10, 10 of your client, client uh, uh, requests to, to your data which is sitting inside the public cloud, in, inside your uh, inside a cloud. So you can uh, do so using the load, balance, load balancing traffic management policy within the DNS service. Uh, very similarly, this this can be another uh, use case where your application is sitting across multiple regions for load balancing, and you want to make sure that uh, most of your clients are being uh, helped with 60% within one of the regions, and then the next are 25% in one and 15% in the region two. So you can re leverage the load balancing traffic management policy along with uh, along with the DNS service. Just like uh, the failover scenario, you can also link uh, the health checks with the load balancing uh, traffic management steering policy. Uh, and in that case, uh, if one of the region or if one of the sites goes down, you always have the ability to fail over it to the other uh, two sites which are active and serving traffic. Uh, very commonly we also see that there are in certain cases as uh, applications are moving towards the cloud you have hybrid or multi-cloud environments and you want to uh, segregate your traffic based upon uh, the ip group uh, individual of your clients so you can definitely do so using the traffic management or steering policies as well um, very commonly you see that you, there are use cases where uh, you want to have uh, some traffic which is uh, like based upon your geographical region for instance you have application is a is a is a e-commerce site and for your european customers you want all of your european customers to go to your european site because of it's a it's a different language uh, for instance if it's an it's, it's a different language that they are using and all of your north american customers want to go to a different uh, site because of a different application running on it uh, so using the geolocation steering uh, you can make sure that 
uh, users which are coming from a specific region are directed to workloads which are in a specific region as well and you can always again combine your health checks for failover if one of your region fails they can fail over to the other region uh, then a couple of more uh, examples where you can do uh, use the uh, IP prefix for canary trusting or use an ASN number for um, steering your traffic to a particular workload within the cloud uh, so let let's go uh, and take a look at the different traffic management policies with available within OCI uh, so you have a load balancer traffic management steering policy uh, you have failover uh, geolocation steering and then ASN steering and IPv fix steering uh, so instead of going into one by one what I'll do is that I'll just log into the OCI console uh, and we'll create or uh, take a look at how do you create each one of these policies and what are some of the options that you can uh, that you have to use when you set up the policy uh, and how do you connect uh, or attach a health check with these with the traffic management steering policies as well so that's all from this video thank you for joining